so the claim is representation matters. Star Trek helped me see that representation matters. And I've come to believe deeply that reflective representation, seeing yourself, your experience, your people's experience in the places and positions that matter most in this world is critical to meaningful civic engagement. What would you have of reasons for or against this? I would say that representation does matter. Anybody who has a child will know that children get very pleased and excited when there's someone they can pretend to be. They feel more likely that they can pretend to be someone who is the same sex as them, maybe the same race as them. I, I don't know. My daughter doesn't, but we're white, which is the majority. So I would... I, th I think that uh, there should be more representation of minority groups. But we get to a bit of a problem when we get right into the social justice ideas where you both have to have um, representation of absolutely everybody. I stand before you today in all of my blackness, in all of my femaleness, and in all of my womanhood to talk about a subject that is easily dismissed if you are not both black and female. And that is the need for representation, the need for a woman like me, women like me to be represented everywhere and in all spaces because representation matters. But you cannot culturally appropriate or step out of your lane and play someone or write someone who isn't from your social group. The main problem with cultural appropriation comes from dominant groups borrowing from marginalized groups who face oppression or have been stigmatized for their cultural practices throughout history. And then you also have to um, be very, very careful how you include um, people in, in various kinds of things because there's always a way to problematize any kind of um, representation of, of anyone if it's in a film or in the writing of a book we've seen for example what's happened in the um, young adults section with books where books have been re withdrawn because somebody has complained that um, somebody ugh, writing from her own cultural background nevertheless said things that could be upsetting to African Americans I think it was and so we have this this kind of case where you really can't um, can't get it right in that case. So I would go with the liberal idea, which is an equal opportunity. Try to get as many different types of people in there as you can. Be inclusive, be welcoming. Don't go to a, a neurotic extent where you're then making everything you do. And I'm, I'm talking in the realm of art right now, which might not have been what you meant, but make everything you, you do politicised. You will take all of the joy out of everything if you... <laughs> If you try to make all your characters perfect and politic and give them a political message. But in areas such as, do we want equal representation of women in physics, for example? No, I don't think we do. We ha can accept that men and women have different uh, interests on average. That shouldn't make us complacent so that we stop looking in case there are any barriers for anybody of any sex, any race, any sexuality. But we shouldn't assume that everybody's going to make the same decisions in the same numbers. And so trying to get a quota of representation then is, is what's known as blank slatism, which really doesn't accept that um, among the genders is that anyone can choose differently. Amazing. That was, that was a wealth of, of reasons. Thank you. 